Hey, welcome back to the Missouri Sports Network, MissouriSportsNetwork.com, sponsored by Central Bank of the Ozarks, where everyone has a home field advantage. Also presented by Labor's Local 663, Doak Propane, the Bank of Billings, the Missouri State Highway Patrol, Great Southern Bank, and Shelter Insurance Agent Grant Baker in Aurora and Sean Holman in Lockwood. Pleased to be joined now, Lincoln College Prep Blue Tigers head coach, William Lowe. Coach Lowe, hey, thanks so much for your time today. Yeah, good to be back. Thanks, Guy, for having me on. You bet. And uh, back-to-back uh, wins here as you head into this this quarterfinal matchup. First off, let's talk a little bit about, you know, both Harrisonville and Nevada. 41 points in each contest. Hold them to under three touchdowns. Talk about the Blue Tigers' performance in the last two games. Uh, we talked about going into the playoffs, even though we had an undefeated regular season record at 9-0, and that – the playoffs, we really had to bring another level of intensity because playoffs, everybody's oh no, you know. Um, we knew Harrisonville in the first game was going to come in ready to play because uh, it's win or go home, you know, and everybody's got a shot in the playoffs. So I was proud of our kids for matching their intensity um, in game one, which was really round two of the playoffs. So they had already won a playoff game and had some confidence. So we knew we had to be ready to go from the start. And then, uh, same thing last week with Nevada. We knew Nevada, 9-2 and two regular season, you know, had won two playoff games already, um, had some confidence. So we knew we really just had to set the tone early by playing fast and matching the intensity. What are some things that you feel like right now at this point of the season as you head into the quarterfinals? You guys are really doing well. What is something that, that Smithville is going to have to prep for? Uh, shoot, I mean, Smithville's so good. I don't know if they'll have to prep for anything, but uh, – Honestly, I mean, I, our defense has been our backbone pretty much all year. Um, you know, we're probably only giving up 11, 12 points a game. Uh, in high school football, that's pretty good. I mean, we played some really good teams. Um, so defensively, our kids just have a lot of confidence. Um, they don't get shaken up if a bad play happens. Um, that's what I really like about this team is their mental toughness. So I think if anything, hopefully we can match the physical and mental toughness of Smithville. Um, and high school X's and O's and schematics only mean so much uh, if the kids don't believe very much or if they're not very mentally tough. So I would say uh, just the resiliency and mental toughness of our kids has been a strength and being able to run the ball. Um, I mean, last week it was 30 mile an hour winds here at the top of the hill in Kansas City. And so being able to establish a running game and having confidence in your running game helps when you get deep in the playoffs and the weather's bad. Yeah, it's going to be mostly cloudy and a little bit warmer at the high of 40, you know, degrees uh, in Kansas City on that evening. But you guys, both teams coming into this, averaging right about 42 points a game. You guys are just giving up 12. They're giving up about seven uh, or a touchdown a game. What are you going to have to do to come out on top? I mean, Smithville obviously undefeated as well at at 10 and 0. Uh, you guys at 11 and 0, one of the big matchups in the in the here in the playoffs come Friday night. What are you guys going to have to do? Uh, we're going to have to get some turnovers and play really well. Uh, but our, our kids have stepped up to the challenge all year. Um, I mean, at this time of the year, you're in the fourth round of the playoffs, you're going to play good people. And our kids understand that. Uh, like any high school game, it's only 48 minutes. You turn the ball over a couple of times, put yourself in a bad spot. Um, so we'll have to get some turnovers make some big momentum uh, type plays on special teams if we can. We had a big kickoff return last Friday against Nevada. Uh, they had scored to make it a one or two score game and kicked off to us. And we, you know, had a 98 yard kickoff return um, that put the momentum back on our side. And that's huge in high school. So you never want to get down too much where um, you can't regain some momentum. Um, so that's the biggest thing. Just try to stay Stay in the game as long as possible. If we can stay in the game as long as possible um, and hang with them, maybe we can get some momentum-type plays late in the game to swing our way. You guys relatively healthy going into this matchup here in, in this quarterfinal game? Yeah, that's – somebody asked me that the other day. That's been huge this year. Um, in all my years of coaching, this might be the first year where we've had everybody that started the year finishing the year. Um, we've been really lucky. I'd like to attribute that to our off-season workouts and – weight program, but you know, injuries sometimes are just freak things. So um, we've been really lucky and blessed this year not to have any kids go down. What time do the uh, gates open? You guys play at seven o'clock there in Kansas City. What time do the gates open? And uh, 
How can, how can people get tickets? Is this all online now with the virtual tickets now? Yeah, uh, our district was trying to push for uh, tickets to be sold at the gate, but I guess that's a mission thing now where all the playoffs are digital and online. So I guess everybody's got to get it online. And then to be honest with you, I still don't know where we're playing at. Um, obviously, we want to host at Lincoln. We're supposed to play at Lincoln. Our kids love it here. We feel like we got a great home field advantage here. Um, but our district, I think in the state of Missouri, they're trying to make up for that lost revenue last year from COVID. So they're trying to push it to maybe a neutral site with bigger capacity to make more money. When they say it's not about money, it's always about money. So um, we would like to play here at Lincoln, but I can't give you a definitive answer right now. Well, that's, uh, that's miss you. You know, a lot of times they, they, they make decisions <laughs> that we don't understand, but uh, right. Right. Uh, again, coach, congratulations on a tremendous season. No matter, no matter how it ends, you know, on right. Friday night, uh, but hopefully we'll get to get an opportunity to visit with you again next week and getting ready to go into a semifinal game. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. You bet. Coach William Lowe, head football coach, Lincoln College Prep, Blue Tigers. They take on Smithville on Friday night in the Class 4 state quarterfinals. But, Coach, we'll talk to you soon. All right, thank you.